It's just road rage, you know. I didn't get out and I didn't arrest no one. I probably arrest one person out the whole eight. Well, you probably remember that guy. He's Delwyn Knight, a convicted Baldwin County road rager. This past March, Knight was sentenced to 30 days in jail after pleading guilty to two counts of reckless endangerment and harassment. Right now, he's still on probation because of that conviction. And tonight, Knight is back in handcuffs, accused of making lewd gestures toward a Daphne City Council member's daughter. NBC 15's Corey Pippen spoke to authorities about Knight's latest run-in with the law. This was 37-year-old Delwyn Knight in February of this year. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm not no bad person. You can look at my record. Turning himself in to face numerous complaints of dangerous road rage along the Eastern Shore, many of which were caught on video. The police on me every day. And tonight he's once again accused of disturbing behavior. This time investigators say for harassing a woman confirmed to NBC 15 as the daughter of a Daphne City Council member. This female victim was driving by a residence in Lake Forest. She made uh, eye contact with Mr. Knight and he made a very lewd gesture in her direction while staring with her. Police say it happened in October as Knight, who was working in Lake Forest as a landscaper, grabbed himself and began thrusting his hips toward the victim. He was contacted and told to turn himself in. He didn't uh, turn himself in and we eventually located him in Lake Forest again on November 10th. Police say he's since bonded out. In March, Knight was sentenced to 30 days in jail and two years probation after pleading guilty to two counts of reckless endangerment and one count of harassment. Seven additional charges were withdrawn by a Daphne City judge on the promise Knight wouldn't violate his probation. We were hopeful that the uh, the last round of, of these types of events from him would stop. Obviously, they haven't, so he's, he's going to have to deal with the court system now. Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News. Knight is scheduled to appear in court on January 14th, where it's expected his probation will be revoked. He could now face at least two years in prison.